Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Welcome to the farm. Guys, if it's your first time to the farm, please jump in, pound the like button, consider subscribing to the channel. We're gonna have some fun here today. So we've got our Honda Foreman 500 out here. This is a 2019 Honda Foreman 500 that we bought for the farm for use on the farm. A utility four-wheeler, and we put some gigantic racks on it. So that's a Culpin rack on the rear and a Culpin rack on the front. Basically, we transformed this four-wheeler into a side-by-side -side that's going to leave a lower footprint than a heavy 1,500, 1,800 pound side-by-side. -side. This thing weighs about 800, 850 pounds. With me on it, it's about 1,000 pounds, so it's better weight distribution over the land. That's why we have an ATV. So today we're going to have some fun on Tool Tuesday. We're going to show you a bunch of different fun tools, and we're going to be installing a receiver for the ATV right here. We have these Culpin Quick grips we'll show you, we're installing those. I'm gonna install a cup holder or a water bottle holder on this machine because I'm always drinking water, I'm always carrying water with me, and I want a water bottle holder. So we're gonna put a bicycle water bottle holder on here. We're gonna install a critter called the saw haul, and it's for hauling around your chainsaw so it doesn't take up room inside the back. So we have limited space back here, and we're gonna be putting this thing to work. I've got a lot of stuff to do this coming weekend. Uh, with our watering system for our cattle. So come along as we utilize the ATV. All right, woo! Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. Stony Bridge Farm. All right, guys, before we utilitarize this thing a little bit more, we're gonna show you all the stuff that we're installing today. And I already jumped the gun. I already installed the uh, quick grips right here. These are ratcheting quick grips. We'll give you a little close up of that here in a second. But I want to address the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is our Stony Ridge Farmer farm fencing shirt, okay? This is the image of a beautiful cowgirl standing beside a joke. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. Stony Ridge Farm Fencing, it's a joke, guys. It's not meant to hurt feelings or offend anybody or anything of that sort. It's a joke, it's a play on words, it's a pun. In my mind, there's no finer figure than a beautiful woman standing beside a fence. I mean, a cowgirl especially, so. That's what it's about. It's about fun. It's not about hurting people's feelings. I'm not here to hurt your feelings. If this offends you, I'm sorry. The next shirt, I'll put a big fat cowgirl on there and we'll all have a good time with that too. <laughs> so what we're doing here today, guys, is we're gonna install some cool toys or tools toys on this uh, machine. We've already put these monster Culpin racks on here. This is the front rack. It just basically doubled the space, uh, the hauling capacity of our ATV, which is super cool. Cool, super fun. Um, now, we need to utilitarize this machine by putting some other things on here. So we've got a Greg Judy bale unroller, and the whole purpose of this is to tread lightly on our pastures. So we've got a utility vehicle, but the ATV in muddy situations is gonna tread much more lightly on our pastures, and that's what we wanna do. We wanna leave a low footprint on our pastures. So if you're setting up a four-wheeler for trails or whatever, all this can apply to you because it's all fun stuff. We maintain fence lines with this. This is our machine, do everything machine. And I love it, I love it. I parked the side-by-side -side and now I'm on the ATV all the time because it's so simple and easy. So here's what we're installing. Today we're putting on a saw haul. You can see, there it is, there's the reflection saw haul. My friend Kenny over at Saw Haul, I've been uh, a friend of Kenny's for I guess three or four years, something like that. Great guy, great company, American made, 100% American made, uh, I'm told. And Kenny does a lot of stuff with uh, Eustace Conway and his Turtle Island Preserve uh, um, group. I've introduced those people, and uh, Eustace Conway has a nonprofit up there in the mountains that teaches both children and adults how to function in the forest, really. Uh, pretty cool, some blacksmithing stuff, all that stuff. This is a Kurt manufacturing receiver that goes on the back. So it's a receiver for a hitch. And this is a hitch. All this stuff, I'll post links to every single thing we have. So you can't have just any hitch. See how close the hole is to the back here? That's so this sticks out just a little bit further and we can pull the Greg Judy baling roller. It's a two inch ball right there and we'll be able to hook our safety chains right on there and extend it out just a little bit because this rack extends out the back of the ATV. Lots of thought going on here, guys. Uh, next thing we're gonna be doing, or we already did, we installed these Copeland racks and this is 
one of the tools that we'll be hauling around with us because anytime we go in the woods we're going to be cutting trees we're going to need this tool this is called the log ox four in one forestry multi-tool so it's a cant hook it's for carrying uh, lumber or timber or logs or whatever and this is a timber jack to keep your saw out of the mud and out of the rocks and we got tons of rocks on the farm so those ratcheting straps or ratcheting culpin connectors are for that cool that's what it's for we can put shovels we can put rakes i've got a manure fork right here that we've had in there we can put multiple things in there the last thing that we're going to install is that something just so simple it's a bottle holder a water bottle holder because we're out on the farm all the time and i'm going to mount this dude right to the side of the culpin rack if you didn't have the rack system you wouldn't have anywhere to mount it besides like drilling right into the side of your atv and we don't want to do that we want to keep this thing nice and fresh that way it'll have good resale value if we ever decide to sell it so the first thing that we installed here and i think every utv or atv should have a set of these these are culpin ratcheting hear that culpin ratcheting attachment points there are two they come in a package of two I had them on the gator I've got them on this they wouldn't fit in a place that I wanted them to fit on the Kubota uh, RTV LX X1140 however this is awesome and I'm gonna buy another set to put on that side that way we can haul shovels and rakes and whatever it is we need to haul even uh, you could put some beverages in cans or bottles right there and it'll hold them nice and snug for you if you're going back in the woods and you might need a beverage a different kind of beverage a fun kind of beverage <laughs> The next thing we're going to install is the saw haul and I've already got start, started with the mount real quick I'm going to pop it apart real quick show you guys what it is and we had to drill a tiny hole right here in the Copeland rack in order to make this fit and it's going to be awesome I can't wait we'll be able to haul a chainsaw outside of the basket and I can go in and put my buckets in the basket or my big chainsaw in the basket terminology lesson time this is the chainsaw <laughs> obviously it's a Toro chainsaw this is the mounting portion for the saw haul i got it loosely put together here i'm going to take it apart just so you guys can see it there we go so this is the mount for the saw haul and you can see there's a sleeve right here and the saw haul drops down right through there okay so that's what's going to mount up to the atv and you'll put your chainsaw in this scabbard that's terminology lesson today this is called a scabbard the scabbard is the sleeve that goes on your chainsaw that simple that easy okay so we're going to go ahead and install this guy i went ahead and drilled a hole it's very simple you can mount it to pretty much any type of uh, roll bar rop system or whatever on your tractor you can find a place to put this and if you want to haul a chainsaw around with your tractor you don't have to haul it in the bucket or with bungee straps or anything like that so it's pretty unique pretty interesting product my friend kenny again I'm not getting paid to show you this. This is my buddy, okay? And they do a lot of good stuff, all made in the USA. Pretty awesome. Protect your investment, protect your saw. The reason this thing was invented is because Kenny kept running over his chainsaw. <laughs> so funny story, he told me, he's like, man, dude, I ran over like three chainsaws with my tractor. Finally, I was like, what, what can I do to stop running over chainsaws? And then he figured out that he could make a mount just like this. So great, interesting idea. Awesome. So we're going to install this on the Copeland rack real quick. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say Culpin, but it's a Culpin rack. Okay. So when you get this in, it'll be separate already. I just put it together to show you, but that's the mount portion and the mount portion is going to go right up here and i pre-drilled a hole right here and we can use an existing vent hole right here on the uh, culpin rack culpin i said it <laughs> okay so I'm, I'm going up here i'm gonna slide my bolt back just as simple as it can be got a washer and a nylon locking nut uh, this couldn't be any simpler guys this is this is really easy stuff now wherever you mount this you want to make sure it's a firmly mounted position so the metal on this rack is a little bit thin right here so i'd anticipate a little bit of flex i'm not worried about that little bit of flex okay nut and bolt combination number two got a washer got a bolt run that dude through there into the back of the saw haul behind the scenes in the shop i took my level i parked this thing on level ground and i took my level and leveled this off so that it would be level when parked on level ground okay very simple get that started nylon locking nut on there okay snug it down as tight as we possibly can get it 
Then we'll take our 9 16 wrench hot dog. It's an American, <laughs> it's American product. It's got an American size SAE bolt. That's awesome. We'll take our little DeWalt impact right here and let her rip tater chip. We're gonna put her on there and snug her down. Okay, don't get too crazy. Just tighten one a little bit and then tighten the next one a little bit. Whoop! See? See what happens when you get too crazy? Literally, this only takes about a minute and a half to install. Uh-oh, the bolt's a little too long. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I might not want to be a dummy and do that again. So we're going to use the open end here. Basically as tight as I can get it with my, with my DeWalt. Good. Looking good right there. Okay, that's the saw haul. She's installed. The saw haul is installed. Okay, drop the scabbard down in there and then drop the chainsaw. This is our new Toro electric chainsaw. Awesome saw. Look at that. See how I told you it's going to flex a little bit. A little bit of flex or and or deflection is normal. It's okay. It ain't going to hurt. It's not going to fall off. It's good to go. Cool. Now, on to the next thing, we're gonna go ahead and install the hitch on the bottom of this. And this is a Kurt hitch. Again, I'll post links to all this stuff, Amazon links to all this stuff uh, in the video description down below. Dropped it. Typically, I'd be doing this in the shop, but since I'm not doing it in the shop, we're gonna lay out a blanket <laughs> because I might, it might be tough, but I'm not made of steel and that gravel's rough. So I think a Victoria's Secret blanket is only appropriate for doing something like this. <laughs> Oh, good stuff. Um, so the Kurt manufacturing, I guess that's what it's called, Kurt, whatever, uh, comes with an installation kit and I forgot my tools. This is important. This is pretty cool little uh, piece right here. So this guy goes on and locks into place to keep this from wagging back and forth like that, okay? That used to be a problem with these type of hitch setups, according to a really good friend of mine. So what we're gonna do is loosely put everything together real quick, and then we'll get our wrench and tighten everything up. This is a big old fatty bolt. We're just gonna use a couple great big um, adjustable wrenches for this job. So we'll drop this guy in, just like so. Put our locking, uh, big fat lock washer on there and our bolt. Very simple. And we'll snug it up finger tight. This is gonna take this ATV to the next level, man. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, now underneath is where you put this critter and there is a little washer that goes on there, just like so. We'll slide that up underneath and we'll loosely install, I don't know what you call that thing. They didn't come with any instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory how it all goes together. Um, didn't come with any instructions, but you do wanna make sure that it's squared up with the back of your ATV or UTV or lawnmower. I guess you could use this on pretty much anything. You could think of no finer purpose for a Victoria's Secret blanket than out in the gravel in the driveway. Once these old blankets like we use on our couches get little fuzz balls on them, you know, they've got that, it looks like sheep fur, I guess, and <laughs> they get fuzzy. Once they get fuzzy, they get relegated to shop duty, outdoor Josh duty. Here's another tool for, for Tool Tuesday. If you don't have one of these, you ain't living right, man. That is a channel, or excuse me, vice grip uh, adjustable wrench from Stanley. I'll post a link to that critter. That is super handy, especially when you're in a one-man situation such as this. I can just clamp it right on there and then tighten this thing up, man. That is super handy to have. And I don't know if you've used adjustable wrenches a whole lot, and I'm using this one backwards. Use adjustable wrenches a lot, which I do on the farm. I keep them on all the tractors. Uh, you find yourself needing somebody to hold it, and that holds it for you. So I think I picked that up. I'll post a link to them. So all the tools, all the fun stuff we're using today, but I think I picked that up at Walmart, to be honest with you. Now, if, you ain't, if you're too good to shop at Walmart, you're probably way too good to do this kind of stuff. Ugh. Oh, baby, let's put some moose on this thing. Get it! 
Get some. <laughs> Get on there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, thank goodness for Victoria here. All right, we're in good shape there. Pop this guy off. Awesome. Now, here is our receiver. This might seem like common sense to all you guys, but it uh, it isn't common sense to a whole lot of people. This, these are great ideas uh, for accessorizing your utility vehicle or your ATV. So this critter comes with um, everything you need inside there, tucked away inside there. We'll bust that open. We also have two more bolts we need to tighten up. Uh, these 9 16 bolts down here that keep this thing from sliding. So we've got them finger tight. Good deal. Might not hurt to put a little blue Loctite on these things. If it's going to be permanent on your uh, ATV or utility vehicle, you might want to bust out some red Loctite. Go full on Wrangler Star on this thing. I'm bad about stripping out cheap bolts. These are not cheap bolts. Because I put the Gorilla, full Gorilla on there. Okay, slide this guy on there. Slide our pin through. Very, very simple. Nice. Now we can use our bail unroller. That thing's on there, stout. Let's go up top and do the last thing. Stony Ridge Pro Tip. I am a huge fan of DeWalt tools, guys. Now we all have drill bits that are not so good and we've got drill bits that are really good in our toolboxes. If you don't have a good bit set, go buy a good bit set. You'll appreciate it. So keep a Sharpie in your toolbox also. See, that's the best drill bits for metal. <laughs> that way I don't have to open and close and open and close. And I wrote it on the front and on the back. So what we're going to install here is something very simple. You can buy these water bottles for like four bucks, two bucks, something like that. And these are like two dollars also. I'll post links for you. This is just a water bottle holder off of a bicycle. I actually took it off of my bicycle that I'm not using anymore. And I'm just going to take some self tappers right here and I'm going to put it on this side because my shifter lever is on the left side and my throttle's on the right. So if I'm ever gonna take my hands off the handlebars, I will be taking them off on the left side. So we're gonna pop this guy right into place right here. And that's the last tool. The screw that I'm using is a sheet metal screw for a tin roof. It's got the rubber on there, okay? Cause it's gonna need to bounce. This is gonna take a beating right here. So we're gonna go ahead, get him in place right here in the uh, water bottle holder. And we're gonna get it started. There we go, we got it. Okay, self-tapper. Boom, done. Next. Could have pre-drilled that, but didn't need to, okay? Very simple, very easy. And now I can put my water bottle on here. Isn't that nice? So guys, that's it. That's Tool Tuesday for the week. These are some awesome tools. The, the saw is great. The log ox is great. All these tools are great to have. Uh, great Christmas ideas too. If you got a man that owns a chainsaw and works in the woods and need, you need to get that chainsaw up out of the dirt so you don't hit rocks and stuff, that thing is indispensable, the log ox is. These grips are super awesome. The water bottle holder is gonna be great because you know we wanna stay hydrated while we're out here working. And the saw haul on the back, kicks butt so i can't wait hopefully next week we've got some hay coming out next week and we're going to start rolling out hay bales on the land with the greg judy bale and roller so stay tuned that's going to be a tool tuesday video in the future it's really cool guys thanks a lot for joining me here on the stony ridge farm today i appreciate it i hope you enjoyed the video a quick tool tuesday for you a little bit of tutorial and a few tips and tricks thanks a lot we'll see you next time pound the like button and subscribe to the channel Woo! we'll come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife Bring your kids, we're living life, pure and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.